Hello everyone and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today I'm really excited to bring you this massive, massive design that I have been working on and I cannot wait to show you. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Danny, and I've been uploading a lot of Animal Crossing content. So please hit that subscribe button and stay along for the ride. Also, if you're watching this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate all of the thumbs up. Let's see how many we can get. This design is something that I started on a live stream and I never showed you the final project. So here it is. Once and for all, we have this little kind of village shopping center type area. This is a little bit more complex than some of the designs that you've seen previously. I really like to make a lot of easy and simple designs that are super easy to follow, but this one is so much fun that I want to make sure that you get to see all of it. This started as a big project, and once I was able to wrap my head around it, it didn't seem too bad. So to start off with, this does have multiple layers. So you can see back behind here, this is the layer that holds the bridge that goes across. So I had to make sure that it was wide enough and long enough, and it takes me a good amount of time to figure that kind of stuff out. But after a while, I did figure out the proper dimensions for getting that bridge across. There are a lot of online guides for helping you figure out how to place a bridge if there's something specific you're looking for. So go ahead and type that into Google and see what you can find, and it should be able to help you. That's also the same for the diagonal bridge. Boy, was that a struggle. That was a struggle. So if you have difficulty placing diagonal bridges, don't worry, you are not alone. The simple panels you see going along the back are all downloadable codes, so I will go ahead and put them in the description box if you would like to download them. There are three different ones, and of course, if you just type in city or town designs into the custom design editor or the custom design portal, it'll bring up a bunch of different options. So if you don't necessarily like this option and you want something a little bit different, you can always find that as well. The other thing you'll see is the path that I have down here. Again, I'll leave that in the description box if you would like to use it. It is a lot of pieces. So if you don't have a lot of space in your custom design slot, then it's gonna be a little rough to make this, but I really, really like it and I think it's so pretty. So that's about it for the custom designs, as far as the custom designs go. To start off, after doing the bridges and the waterfall, I planted these little bushes, and I think I might try to find fencing that I like that can go in between here. I just haven't really figured out what I want to put in there yet, but something will go there. <laughs> and of course, I've got a lot of these lights, so I thought these were really pretty to put on the ends of the bridge. It kind of lights it up. It looks really pretty at night as well. I put a barrel down here just to add a little bit of detail when you're kind of looking down this alley. I needed something to go there and I really do like those barrels. I've got them all over my island so it kind of fit. I also put a black stall right here with a book on it and of course you can see there's a couple chairs. Tangy's just hanging out and a tree. I've also lined this with trees. I've just kind of put trees all over the place. <laughs> that way it feels kind of like an enclosed area since I've got the trees on both sides. I had an extra signpost, so I threw it in there. It matched, it looks good there, so I left it. Now I started this design before pumpkins were a thing, and I had this little area that I didn't fill in yet, so I went ahead and made that into a little pumpkin garden, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. As you can see, my pumpkins are still growing. They're all single pumpkins, except for this guy who decided to be two. He's twinning right now. Oh, and of course, it wouldn't be a Danny G video without that balloon. Again, always, every single video. So anyway, I needed something to fill in the other area across the bridge, so I put this fountain and it fits perfectly. I can't really squeeze anything else in here. I can't even get in behind it. It just 
fits like a glove. And there it is. <laughs> but that is pretty much it. It's nothing too crazy. It's just the laying out and planning it and the terraforming that took a really long time. But I wanted to go ahead and share it with you because I think it's such a cute and unique design. And I know some of you would love to have something like this on your island. So I want to make sure that I get that finished design out so all of you can see it and kind of pick and choose what you want from it. Let me know what you think. Do you like this design? Is this something that you could see on your island? It does take up a lot of space. So if you don't have a lot of space, it definitely is not something that's going to work for you. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this design. Will you be using it? on your island, and overall, what is your favorite part of it? Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button on your way out. Thank you so much and happy gaming. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.